Hey everybody, welcome to Monday. It is, and welcome to summer if you're in Australia. Yay, I cannot wait for all of the warm weather. So today I wanted to chat with you a little bit about, or a different take almost on getting out of your comfort zone. So as we are launching in, let's just clear that little camera up a little bit. As we're launching into another brand new week, and I know it can feel like the end of the year is kind of looming and this, things tend to kind of speed up as we come up to this time. So one of the things that we can often do is go, oh, I'll just put that off until the next year, or I'll hold off on putting out this Christmas offer, or I'll hold off on doing this, you know, nobody buys at Christmas time and blah, 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 all of this other stuff. So what I wanted to chat with you guys about today is a little bit about why, what some of the clues are that you, it's time for you to kind of try something different or do something different or expand or grow or whatever. Good morning, Judith. Hey, Kelly. So I was in Melbourne this weekend with my husband and, and one of my best friends and her partner and we were celebrating. It's my, my birthday is next week. My husband's birthday was last week. My girlfriend's birthday is next week and my other girlfriend's birthday is this week. So there, there's lots of, it's a really big celebration time of year. And we happened to be in Melbourne when there was a roller derby game on that I was eligible to play in, or a scrimmage that I was eligible to play in. And I was like, oh, this would be great, this would be great, yep, go do that, but oh my gosh, the amount of anxiety that I was dealing with yesterday morning, I was ridiculously nervous, I was worrying about talking to other people, I was worrying about, uh, you know, fitting in, I was worried about making new friends, you know, I was worried about all of this stupid bullshit stuff that um, is, is just silliness, really, in the scheme of everything. I knew that there were going to be people that I knew and things like that, but the nerves yesterday morning as they're driving there was really, really interesting. So I was, I was kind of thinking about it. It's a little bit like um, the, the thing that we are gearing up to do, we can often, if you're not careful, we can go straight into worst case scenario mode. It's like, well, what if I skate really badly? What if no one talks to me? You know, what if no one recognizes me? All of that kind of stuff. With how this applies into marketing, it's like, well, what if I go and put out this offer and nobody buys? What if I put out this offer and no one responds? What if I go write this book and nobody buys it? You know, all of that kind of stuff. But now you can build up, now, and this is where the anxiety and the stress point comes in, I think, is it's where we're going into worst case scenario versus best case scenario, right? It's like, well, what if this happens? What if this doesn't happen? You know, and we're really catastrophizing in a really, really big way. So instead of doing that, where the growth is, is number one, analyzing that and flipping it on its head. And then the second thing is remembering that in the, in the overall scheme of everything, if you go and try something and if it doesn't work, it doesn't actually really matter. So yesterday it's like, well, you know, I'm gonna go skate. If I don't skate my best, cause you know, we've had a really big weekend, then, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm practicing. It doesn't, we're not playing for sheep stations. It's not anything I'm learning. I'm still doing the stuff that, you know, still practicing, getting better on that kind of thing. It's really important in your business, in your marketing, that you're doing things that stretch and grow you because it will force you out of your comfort zone and it will, it will force you to step up a little bit and take a different perspective. So yesterday we lost my team. It was a, like both teams are a mix of teams and we lost dismally. I don't even know what the score was. I don't even want to know what the score was. But and my husband's like, oh my God, it was really hard to watch. And you know, you could have done this and you could have done that. And I said, yeah, 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 I get it. But for me, some of the really great learnings that I have that I don't get at uh, practice or anything like that it, it were really were really big lessons for me. So often you might go out and put out a marketing campaign or launch podcasts or go and do something else that just you're like, oh, this just doesn't feel right or it just doesn't feel good and it feels clunky. The learnings and the lessons that you will get from doing that is uh, it can be really, really insightful and really important for you to learn and for you to take away. 
So as we're gearing into this kind of Christmas period, is there anything that you're holding on to that you think might be setting your mindset up for sabotage, like failure or, or anything like that? So for example, oh, I can't put out offers before Christmas because no one will buy. Here in the consulting training world, there's this big myth that you can't really make any offers between, like after the middle of December, right through to about the middle of January. I'm like, dudes, like the, the week before Christmas can be your best week of sales ever, like ever. So it's really important that if you're in the mode of marketing and selling and things like that, that you do some stuff right, right, up, right up to Christmas. Uh, is that holding you back? Like the other thing is like the, that theory or that thinking that, oh, nobody has any money at this time of year because it's all Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. A lot of people are in spending mode. So they're much more likely, or not, maybe not much more likely, they're, they're sometimes they're, their inhibitions maybe with buying your product or service are down a little bit because they're just like, oh yeah, that's okay, we'll just we'll deal with it next year, we'll deal with it next year. So it can feel scary, it can create, create some anxiety, but just remember that sometimes it takes you to really step out of your comfort zone, analyze your thinking about something, and rather than going worst case scenario, have a look at, well, you know, what could be the potential learning that I get out of this? What could be the potential growth that I get out of this? What's the experiment? And I think if we're looking at everything that we're doing through that lens, it's experimentation, we're playing, we're learning, we're fucking up because, you know, we're human. We're also achieving things, we're winning, we're helping people, then it's a much better mindset to come into. So this week, I want you to think about, we have got, let me see, and I'm just going to look at my little calendar, that's my mouse for that, okay, we have got one, two, three weeks till Christmas, oh my god, hmm. three weeks till Christmas today, so is there an offer that you can put out this week that you've been putting off, and what could you do next week, and what could you do the week after? And then I want you to reverse engineer that with how you're going to market it, how you're going to talk about it, how you're going to position it, and how you're going to really kind of get that out there. So that's it for today, short, sharp, and shiny. Work out what you're going to do. Make sure that you've got nothing running around in your head that's holding you back from putting out some really great offers or some really great specials or just you know talking about your stuff. Get out there and do it and really leverage that, um, that, that pull around getting out of your comfort zone or that scary thing to kind of propel you forward and through towards the end of the year. All right, um, tomorrow morning we are going live at 11 o'clock. I think it might be a slightly different time because I think I'm fly I am flying tomorrow. So it might be a little bit later. I'll keep you guys in the loop with that. But what's really cool about what we're talking about tomorrow is it's all about communication and how you can tap into the things that are going on in other people's heads. Kelly often comments, have you been like, is my house bugged? Have you been spying on me and, and stuff like that? Kelly, that, that's a very, that's a common thing that you say pretty regularly. So, and you're here, so I thought I'd pick on you for that. Um, so it's really making sure that your people feel like they're heard. Your people feel like you know what's going on, that you can really empathize with them, that you understand what they're going through, and most importantly, that you can help step them forward along that way. So we're going to talk about that tomorrow, and then we've got some live scheduled in for the rest of the week. Uh, I am in Sydney, so we'll kind of see how that plays out. Other than that, go help some people, have a whole lot of fun doing it, and get out there and get visible. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.